You're right, guys. So, um, Maxwell asked why. Um, just briefly explain the reasoning why we don't use the wick when drawing in this case in demand zones. So, the example was uh, the fact that we don't use the last uh, bullish um, uh, or sorry, bearish candle uh, wick high to wick low before prices start to make. A new high and the reasoning behind it I mean you can actually draw um, uh, sorry one second I'm just looking for something you can draw your supply and demand zones any which way you want but the but my reasoning would be the strongest area of demand has to be here if this is basically higher highs and higher lows yeah so that's basically a high a pullback yeah and then as we move up for example yeah so that has to be an area where of interest at the absolute low if we're being you know very specific the higher we go yeah is the um is the is the least strong i guess what's the word i'm looking for is the is 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 the further we get from away from the strongest area of demand right so as you go higher yeah um you know prices are obviously being bought but the point is is that is that we could have a wick yeah we could have a wick that goes something like this you could have a long wick that goes up and then comes back down if you draw a wick from if you start drawing the wick yeah then you're going to have to have that all as demand zone when really and truly it's not really um feasible you know what i mean it doesn't really mean anything that's the top of the demand zone which is probably going to be the maybe the weakest area of 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 demand whereas this down here is actually going to be the strongest area of demand yeah because again we know we understand higher highs and higher lows right these have to be the strongest areas and i want to say strongest i use that in the term that um if we're looking at a high to a low yeah where would you want to be a buyer that's been that's potentially an expensive area so where is the bargain where's the bargain of all bargains potentially or where was the bargain of all bargains at this price point, this absolute turning point? Yeah, someone picked off the absolute low. So if prices start to come back down between a high and a low is a fair value area. And if prices come back down to there, that should be where the bargain is or the, the, the best bargain, if that is still a bargain from a fundamental perspective. If you start drawing your, your wicks from the highs, yes, it looks nice. And it can, you know, obviously prices can bounce off wherever they want to bounce off of, but it doesn't mean that it's the the best area. For me, I've realized that the close, um, or sorry, the open of the candle, yeah, for, so the start of the move down to the low for me, for with the way that I draw it, is sufficient enough. And you can start to obviously see it bounced off of there, but that doesn't mean anything. It just means that it bounced off of there, right? But again, looking at the microstructure when it comes to higher lows and higher highs or lower highs and lower lows for me open open of of opens of of the start of the move are probably where for me anyway demand starts to probably appear stronger like i said that's the weakest that would be the weakest area of demand as we come down that becomes a bit stronger and this should be you know the absolute bargain price yeah, it does again doesn't mean that the market's always going to agree with us, but that's the area. Of this zone here is where I would look for demand. Of course, prices can always, you know, come down, touch the top end if you drew it from there, and touch the top end and then go higher, right? But again, that's you have to, we have to be consistent in what it is that we do and where we draw our demand zone. So you can draw it like that if you want to. Um, I would say do you know some back testing on that and see if you prefer it that way. If you do, then by all means, the the the, the aim of all this is basically just to make money. Yeah, I found that I make money, uh, you know, doing it the way that I do it. But that's really the reason why I uh, I do it from the bodies to the swing lows. Yeah, that's why I do it. Anyways, guys, take care, and um, I hope that helped. And uh, speak soon.